Merry Christmas and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's quiz category is the 2003 Christmas movie Elf starring Will Ferrell. This is episode number 705. There will be 20 regular questions and then a question 21 tiebreaker if you need it at the very end of the movie. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this movie and I hope you enjoy this quiz. Question 1. Also playing the doctor who Buddy visits in the movie, what is the name of the actor who directed the movies Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and the movie Elf? The answer is John Favreau. Question 2. Before they built the latest in extreme graphic chipset processors, the elves must recite the code of the elves. After treat every day like Christmas, what is rule number 2 of the code? Rule number 2 is there's room for everyone on the nice list. Question number three. What was the full name of the character played by James Kahn, a children's book publisher and Buddy's biological father who lives in New York City and is currently on the naughty list? His name is Walter Hobbs. Question number four. Although it used to be a real department store in New York City, it has been closed since the 1980s. What is the name of the toy store that Buddy works at and meets his love interest? It is Gimbal's. Gimbal's Toy Store. Question number five. He first meets him there when the secretary mistakes him for a Santagram. What was the name of the iconic New York City skyscraper where Buddy's dad works? Buddy's dad works at the Empire State Building. Question number six. A mantra repeated several times throughout the film. According to the third rule of the Code of Elves, what is the best way to spread Christmas cheer? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Question number seven. A Christmas favorite, what was the title of the song that Jovi sings in an unsolicited duet with Buddy while she is in the shower in the locker room before work? Together, they sing, Baby, It's Cold Outside. Question number eight. Jovi, one of the only people that Buddy has met who shares his affinity for elf culture, was played by what 21-year-old actress who had mainly done smaller supporting roles before elf? Her name is Zoe Deschanel. Question number nine. 
Before the Kringle 3000 jet turbine engine powered Santa's sleigh, it ran on 100% Christmas spirit. What is the name of the instrument on the sleigh's dash that measures Christmas spirit? It is called the Clausometer. Question number 10. When Buddy detects a phony Santa Claus working at the toy store, he tells him that he sits on a throne of lies and he knows that he's not the real Santa because he smells like what? He knows he's not the real Santa because this one smells like beef and cheese. Question number 11. After Buddy got kicked out of his dad's office building, he tries to sneak back in to give him a gift. He gets thrown out again, but his dad does receive Buddy's gift. What was it? It was lingerie, a little Christmas-themed nighty. Question number 12. The Central Park Rangers were the special unit of crime enforcement in New York City's Central Park and have been a renegade and feared group since their controversial crowd control tactics at what 1985 concert? at the 1985 Simon and Garfunkel concert. Question 13. According to Buddy, when describing his typical diet, he explains that the elves try to stick to the four main food groups. What are they? The four main food groups are candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Question 14. When Buddy can't be left at home alone, his dad brings him to work with him at the book company. To keep him busy, where does he send Buddy to work? He sends him to work at the mailroom. Question 15. After his full 40 minutes of sleep in his first night at his new family's house, Buddy disassembles a wooden TV stand and makes what classic children's Christmas toy? He builds a rocking horse. Question 16. At the publishing company that Buddy's dad works at, they are having trouble coming up with a new idea for a book, so they decide to bring in what man who has written more classics than Dr. Seuss? They decide to bring in Miles Finch. Question 17. Since she really doesn't originally believe his story, what does Michael show to the news reporter, Charlotte Denon from New York One, to prove that it really is Santa in the park? He pulls out the naughty and nice list. Question 18. 
As seen in signs in the building and on the covers of the books they've released, what is the name of the publishing company that Buddy's father works at in the movie? This is a tough one. You have to pay real close attention to get it. In the offices, you see the signs for Greenway Press. Question 19. Towards the end of the movie, what is the classic Christmas song that Jovi starts singing with the crowd that raises Christmas spirit enough to fly Santa's sleigh? The answer is Santa Claus is coming to town. And question 20. Eventually made into his own children's book, in Buddy's tale of travel from the North Pole, after the seven levels of the candy cane forest, past the sea of twirly swirly gumdrops, what does he walk through? He says, then I walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. All right, that is it for today's trivia. Thank you guys for watching. We do have some more Christmas themed trivia coming up. We've got some great suggestions from you guys. I've gotten emails. I've got a handful of good Christmas trivia that I haven't done yet. Um, but then we're going to be going into a lot more of these, a lot more Christmas movies when it gets closer to Christmas because last year we did a ton of uh, all the different categories that you would normally do for Christmas. So Christmas traditions, Christmas food. It's hard to come up with a bunch more trivia questions for those categories. Like I said, we do have a few more new categories that you guys have suggested. I'm working on those quizzes right now. And as we get closer to Christmas, we'll be doing more, I don't know if I've done like White Christmas, A Christmas Story, uh, The Santa Claus, we'll be doing movie trivia for that. And then after Christmas, we'll just start in with some new regular trivia categories. So stick around if you like Christmas trivia, if you love Christmas trivia, feel free to check out some of the quizzes that we posted last year. Those are all on the YouTube channel. You can go to the holiday playlist or you can just Google or type into YouTube road trivia, Christmas trivia, and it'll pop up about 25 or 30 of them now. So here is question 21. This is a tough one too. You gotta, if you remember back, it only pops up in one part of the movie. The tiebreaker for today is what was the name of the animated snowman in the North Pole who gave Buddy some advice before leaving for New York. It only gets mentioned a couple times in the movie, but the snowman's name is Leon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and see you tomorrow.